Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Space Engineers. Yes, that's right, I'm back. I decided to pick my head up and uh, give it another shot. I've been thinking about uh, the mechanics in this game, and they're a little bit different, and a little different than what I'm used to, and I thank everybody for the, the tips that they've given me, like, uh, for instance, like I know about the atmospheric thrusters giving out at 5 kilometers, and uh, thank you for pointing out that I'll leave gravity at 43. Hopefully I make it. Uh, I have made a few attempts, one of them you don't actually see because it's about probably about 50 kilometers that way. Uh, it was getting to one of those pro built projects that was sort of snowballing. Uh, the more I tried, the more I had to add, the more I had to add, the bigger it got, the bigger it got, the more I had to add. And so needless to say, I was around 100 tons. Uh, and so I decided to, oh, I'm surprised that didn't hurt. I decided to uh, go back to the original idea where I was using the hydrogen tank because uh, my little incident there with the second iron mine there, it was seem did seem to work pretty good. Uh, so what I've got here is I've just got basic uh, four four atmospheric thrusters down, left, right, forward, backwards, just uh, for atmospheric flight. Uh, I should get about an hour charge out of the batteries. Uh, that's ac according to what I was reading. Uh, as far as the hydrogen tank, I have no idea. I do have my lateral, uh, my maneuvering thrusters, we'll call them. And then I got a bank of seven in the back here. What I didn't know was that the large atmospheric thruster, large hydrogen thr thruster actually had a small block version. I was thinking of just sticking this right on the tank, but you know that's going to drain. Oops. You know that's going to drain right through the hydrogen so fast. Um... Uh, one of the biggest problems I was having was I was taking the H2O2 generators up with me and filling them full ice, and that was adding a lot of weight. And so this one here, surprisingly, is a modest 20, 25 tons, which is a lot better than the last one I saw. Last time I actually looked at the weight, it was 75. Yeah. Anyways, I am f I'm charged, I am fueled up, I'm ready to go, and oh yeah, I can't zoom in, get them on my base. Alright, so we'll take the battery, batteries off charge. Uh, yes, I am actually using hotkeys now. Uh, atmosphere thrusters on, and we let go. So I'm thinking of just going straight up. I'm going to go straight up until I can't go up anymore. And then hopefully, hopefully, see so I got about an hour charge, which is okay, because once I'm out, out, in, out of the atmosphere, then I can k kill these engines and rely on the hydrogen. So hopefully this is going to work. Like four thrusters is getting me up there pretty good. Really don't know the best way of doing this. If I should be trying to be going straight up like a rocket or if this is the best approach. But at least it'll give me a better altitude reading because I can go off my beacon. Uh, I don't trust that thing. Because uh, I don't know if that's sea level or terrain level. But we shall see if this works. Hopefully it will. Yeah, I've had uh, a few too many moments where I started banging my head against the desk just because, you know, what is going on. And so far, I'm doing good. About 5k up. And it's really hard changing the view like this because I gotta hold. I not only hold in space, I gotta hit the alt button too to be able to do this. Alright, so those are off, so we kick those on. And let's see if we can actually get out of this, get out of this atmosphere. Let's see if this works. And I guess I can turn, I can turn those off now because they're not finish, efficient anymore. And I think I'm gonna do it. I'll be, like I'm climbing up fast. And of course, the more high fuel I use, the lighter I get. Which is a bad thing because I may not be able to get back. I don't have any supplies on me to actually make a H2O2 generator. But you know what? As long as I make it. Oh yeah, definitely getting up there now. And there we go, an all time record for me. Yay, paddle back. 
seeing as I was doing pretty good and the weight's actually not that bad, I thought the hydrogen would have weighed more. That maybe I might be able to double up the tanks. Twice the tanks, because this clearly has enough thrust to get me up there. I'm still doing 100 meters a second. Am I going vertical? There we go. There's the view. See, sometimes it just... Sometimes all it takes is just uh, just to walk away, take a break for a couple of days, clear your head, and rethink the situation. Not doing good. Realistically, I could be cutting some of these engines down to save my hydrogen, but it's okay because once once we don't get up to zero G here, and we're getting pretty close, point three seven. 0.36 let's see if I can get a little more vertical there we go now tricorder is already gone I have absolutely no idea where he is this is this is nice I like it yeah that's a a possible build site over there I have no idea but yeah my other craft is somewhere over there. I have no idea. Oh, there we go. 20 kilometers, and I'm going to run out of fuel soon. Oh. Oh, look at that. An asteroid. A couple of asteroids. Let's see how the gravity holds up by the time I get there. Let's see how the fuel holds up by the time I get there. Uh, needless to say, I think I'm hooped on this one. And I don't think there's, I still think there's too much gravity to take the dampeners off. Yeah, almost. And the reason why I take the dampeners off is because I can coast. I, I am almost there. Uh, I'm not going to make it. Let's see if I can coast there. Try to save my fuel. I'm still going. That's all that matters. Great success. Look at this. So I'm wondering how big this planet actually is. It looks like it's possibly 60 or 80 kilometers in diameter. I guess I should pay attention to the rocks I'm flying towards. But this is, oops, sorry about that. This is going to take me a minute, so I'll bring you back when I get there. Oh, well, there we are. I officially left gravity. And there's a lot of asteroids up here, which is good. Because I want to do some mining. And yes, I do have my jetpack down. I do have uh, two bottles of oxygen, two, uh, a bottle of hydrogen. And I got some hydrogen there if I need it. Uh, so let's see what we have here. Uh, let me get the right, right tool out. Uh, carrot tools, there we go. Alright, so let's see what we have here. This be. Silver? Yes, silver. So I'm basically looking for platinum. Platinum, maybe any uranium. Now the reason why I want platinum is because that's what I do believe I need to make the ion thrusters. What is this? More silver. This is really cool. See, if I leave my ship there, then I can just fly around. And hopefully be okay. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna look around for a little bit, see if I can find anything of use, and I'll bring you back. Well, it is in looking around. Uh, there's a lot of rocks to get, get around by jetpack. Uh, I'm not using this ship because I'm almost out of fuel. Uh, I was able to find uranium, however, however. Well, I didn't find the platinum I was looking for, but hey, at least I know I can make it up here. Uh, I actually lost my ship a few times. I was starting to panic looking around. I was like, I don't see it anywhere. 
think painting it yellow would be easy to see, but you know, things are so vast and far apart here. Uh, and I also, also almost died too. Uh, suit power just about ran out, got to the cockpit with like 1% left to spare. But anyways, I'm gonna head back and I'll bring you back for the journey home. Okay, now, where's my ship? I think that's it, way over there, that tiny little speck. At least I think so. If I get this thing back to Earth, I'm gonna put a beacon on it. At least that way I'll see it a little bit better. It has been sort of moving on me. I know this is the right rock cluster. And I think it was parked over here. There it is. There it is. Tiny little thing. Tiny little thing. Can you imagine playing this on a, at 640 by 480? You'd be able to see anything. And it really gives you an idea gives you an idea how big some of these asteroids are. Like you can see like that one over there. It's probably fifteen kilometers away. Alright. We get back in. I'm alive and I still have my craft. So the only thing left to do oh, is avoid the rocks. I'm gonna turn dampening off for now. Just to give myself a little a little more coasting. Check out the rocks as they go by. See if there's anything I missed. I did find some magnesium and some iron and silicone, but what do we need that for? Yeah, so this is it's pretty good. I'm gonna definitely redesign it. Uh, the two batteries is perfect for the amount of thrusters on here, because uh, we still I still have like good 45 minutes at least of flight time on that. Uh, the hydrogen could be a little bit better, but like I said, a, a second tank and I think it should be good. I don't think the tank really counts for too much weight. Uh, what I can do actually uh, while I'm coasting. Interesting, it's actually accounting for the mass that's on me. It's actually accounting for that. That is pretty good. So it seems like the hydrogen is almost weightless. So I've seen a few pirates up here too. One came about 13 kilometers away, but it didn't bother me. Probably because I was on a jetpack, right? But anyways, uh, I'm heading back in, so I'll meet you back when, <laughs> back when we're on the ground. I'm back and there's strike order. Something's going on with the land though. I have no idea what's going on. Now we're gonna find out as soon as I land here. When I land. Hoping it's just a visual issue. Interesting. I might have to do a relog here. Uh, let me turn my jetpack off. Yeah, don't know what happened to the land. I'll be right back. Okay, that's better. I had to relog uh, re and actually restart the game. But anyways, uh, I think we're going to call that one here. I finally made it to space, got some uranium, and I am ready to go up there again. Uh, next step, like I said, next episode we're going to redesign that thing throw a second tank on there and maybe we'll have some fun but anyways i thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed if you did leave me a like and i'll see you in the next one later